Oh my God, what in the hell did I just watch? You have to be kidding me. This is Curtis and welcome back to Malevolent Elephant. You know, I saw the new movie Mother by probably the most controversial filmmaker in Hollywood, Darren Aronofsky, who made Noah as well as Black Swan, which is a movie I love. I mean, this dude is crazy and this movie is crazy. What the hell? Mother stars Jennifer Lawrence and Javier Bardem, who is, of course, best known for that classic movie in 2007, No Country for Old Men. Heck, I watched that movie like a couple of weeks ago, like for the 18th time. Love that movie. Mother is a movie that you will not leave without an opinion, and you will either really love it or really hate it. I'm going to give you five reasons Mother is the most insane movie I have ever seen, folks, and it is. Warning, spoilers ahead. At number five is the acting. Look, all I can say is wow. Jennifer Lawrence and Javier Bardem are the two main characters in this movie. Jennifer Lawrence, in particular, really carries the movie. And I can say that even though I'm not a big fan of her, she acted her ass off. She did a lot less speaking than she normally would or any leading actor or actress for that matter and really carried the film with her facial expressions and body language. Bardem was also excellent. You know, he just has this aura about him. Like no matter how happy he looks, he could just rip your throat out at any time without warning. Also fantastic in the film are Michelle Pfeiffer, who was a throwback, and Ed Harris, one of my favorite actors. These actors and actresses in this movie put on some absolutely riveting performances, and I would not be shocked if there were a couple of Oscar nominations for this movie. Number four is awesome cinematography. The camera angles and the way this movie used sound are absolutely first class. By the way, if you are going out and expecting a classic horror film, this is most definitely not that. But it did incorporate elements that are particularly prevalent in horror. Moments of awkward prolonged silence, especially early in the movie. Heightened moments of tension. I mean, it definitely had you feeling like, you know, it absolutely could be a horror film, but eh, I don't know yet. You know, you're just kind of watching and waiting to see what happens. It turned out to be anything but a horror film, however. Yet the cinematography had you guessing and on the edge of your seat for the whole movie, even in the slow parts early on. They did a fantastic job with that. Number three is from one to a billion in no time. Do you remember how Rosemary's Baby was a slow builder and then ended dynamically? This has that same feeling, but on nitrous. I mean, absolutely unbelievable. You find yourself there trying to put the puzzle together and then wham, went from sloth to Bugatti speed in a snap. Look, I appreciate it. I mean, that's what I kind of love about Mother because it threw so much at you at some point in the movie, like, you know, getting close to the end, that it made it almost impossible to really keep up with what's going on. It's not really till after you watch the movie when you really kind of put everything together. The huge explosion in pace will likely demand that you see the movie a second or third time if you don't already hate it, that is. Number two is over the top graphic. Though, as I mentioned, it's not a horror film per se, but it surely has a lot of crazy stuff going on. As this movie is heading to the end, there is tons of violence that happens very abruptly and bloody scenes with what I would categorize as excessive for sure and way over the top. In one scene, after something horrible happens to Jennifer Lawrence's baby, she is beaten down to a bloody pulp, like for real. Uh, and the camera does not turn away, folks. I just have never seen a movie like this that goes from pleasant to awkward to suspenseful to an all out melee as abruptly as Mother did.
Number one is all the Bible stuff. So here come the real spoilers. I definitely want to save the best for last. Look, different people will have different interpretations of this film, but here are mine. Javier Bardem plays a poet in this movie, married to Jennifer Lawrence. His character is supposed to represent God, literally. The house they live in and have spent a lot of time renovating is supposed to be Mother Earth. Bardem opens up Mother Earth to complete strangers, most of whom have no respect for Mother Earth, i.e. the house, and in several scenes are walking around the house in places they have no business and at other times even breaking stuff. I suppose this is supposed to represent how humans destroy the Earth's resources in various ways. I'm not sure about that though, but that's what I think. Ed Harris and Michelle Pfeiffer show up and their characters actually have no names in the film, but I believe they are supposed to represent Adam and Eve. Bardem has this mysterious stone in his room where he writes at that is very dear to him. This crystal represents the apple, which of course is the forbidden fruit in the Bible, as you know. Of course, Eve, Michelle Pfeiffer, is very drawn to this crystal, i.e. the apple, and eventually winds up destroying it, of course, on accident, which is when all hell breaks loose in the movie. Harrison Pfeiffer's two sons show up to the house and have a huge fight over the way the fathers, Ed Harris, the way his will is written. After a squabble, one of the brothers kills the other just as Cain did Abel in the Bible. Long story short, Bardem and Jennifer Lawrence's life fall completely apart as it's revealed that she is pregnant. All of Bardem's sycophants who read his book, they all flocked out to meet him and evidently are invited to his house like where he lives at. That's crazy. So hundreds show up, maybe thousands, and all hell breaks loose as they destroy the house and destroy each other. Very hard to explain if you haven't seen it. So just follow me here. So then she has the baby, which I suppose is supposed to be Jesus, and the most controversial part of the movie happens. The baby is literally butchered and eaten by the people that showed up to the house shortly after he is born. So I guess that's supposed to parallel Jesus's crucifixion in the Bible. I mean, look, guys, I need to watch this thing again to really fully digest it. I mean, it, it was a crazy experience to watch. But a few of you have been asking, so I kind of want to give you my initial thoughts on the movie. But there is so much more to it. Thanks for watching. Forgive me if my thoughts were kind of all over the place for this one, but this movie has my brain going crazy. Let me know in the comments if you have seen it, and if so, what did you think? If you haven't seen it, even though I gave you several spoilers, still go see this movie. I mean, it will blow your mind away. And as I mentioned before, you will really hate it or really love it. I loved it. Of course, don't forget to like or dislike this video as this helps me out tremendously. And don't you dare leave without subscribing. Holla at your boy.